Hello, my friends. Hi, guys. Tuesday night painting. Thank you for joining me. Am I? Yes, I'm live. Hi, Linda. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining me. So, welcome, welcome. I've got to be careful. I haven't got my bun at the moment, so I'm probably going to lose my glasses. Hi, Jill. So guys, thank you for joining me. My name is Angela and I'm the owner of Creative Energy from Elf und Helden. Hallo, liebe Vera. And um, uh, yeah, if you join me, just let me know where you're watching from. I'm a primary retailer for Dixie World over here in uh, Germany, actually, in Europe. Um, yeah, near Frankfurt, so to say. And uh, yeah, if you join me, just let me know where you're watching from. Hi, Michelle. Good to see you. Hi, Monica. Hi, Fatima. Oh, I didn't see you a long time. I hope you're well. So um, tonight, um, before I forget, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Hi, Nina. Hallo, Ute. Zweite Vera ist auch da. <laughs> put them in the comments. Uh, I will try to answer them straight away if, um, if I'm missing them. Hallo, Anja. Um, hi, Erin. Um, please repost them. Otherwise, I will come back later to uh, answer them later for you. So. And if you haven't done it yet, please pop over to my page and leave me a like that. That'll be absolutely fantastic. Hi, Solly. Hi, guys. I'm so happy you're all there. So tonight we are working a little further on our golden cranberry, which is a very special piece from a friend of mine. So this belonged to her mother who already passed away 36 years ago. So this is very special. So um, I'm really pimping her up and um, we already uh, applied some boogie bands and um, stenciling and stuff like that and uh, you can see the top here is pretty plain so it's going to get a nice trim around and this trim is uh, as i said from woody band and dixie bell also carry those carries those trims and also the dixie bell retailers if you want to shop them pop over to the dixie bell page and check for your local retailer where you can get all those things also so i'm going to show you how to apply the trim i've already um done a part around those trims come in a coil as you can see it laying down here at the moment and um, when they are cold they are solid so i'm not moving it at the moment otherwise i will break it um, and when they are warm they're nice and soft so you can get them you can see especially around here you know this is a, a, a round corner okay well you know what i mean does it make sense? Hi, Dixie Bell. Does it make sense? Whatever. So this is like round and you can apply those uh, woody bands uh, all, you know, uh, through all, onto all different uh, uh, shapes. Oh my God, my tongue. I'm German after all, so apologies. So I've got to have a sip of coffee and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to bring you a little closer so you can see what we are doing. So it is uh, 9 p.m. over here, but I'm still drinking coffee. Coffee gets me going. So, all right, guys. Um, to heat the woody bands up, you either need a heat gun. I've got a heat gun. You can use a hairdryer. You can put it on a griddle before. Um, so there's like loads of uh, ways to do it. So hang on. Let's see if I can get you a little further down so you can see what we are doing. I think this should be should be fine like this. So um, you need some wood glue. Any type of good quality wood glue will do. I'm just uh, squeezing some into this little jar. And I'm going to apply it just with like um, a simple chip brush. Um, so I get everything else out of the way. I'm going to do some painting and some glazing and oh, everything tonight. So I'm going to warm that up a little up first to make it nice and um, bendy, so to say. And uh, <laughs> hello, Anja, coffee cheers. Hi Eve, was war, was war the fast. Thank you, Fatima. So, hallo, my Nase. Gute, <laughs> she hasn't got any more coffee, so she was drinking uh, hot red wine. So, <laughs> so 
So you can see it's getting bendy already. And you've got to be got you've got to be a little careful that you're not charring your wood bends. I'm very good at that, so um hair dryer would probably be safer, much safer for me, but um heat gun is a little a little quicker. So I'm going to roll that pizza right up now. So this is now nice and warm. I'm first cutting it down now to the size. They come uh, in a coil and the length is about two meters and 10. So you can cut those. I'm just going to twist it around a little. You can cut those with a sharp knife. I'm getting here. Cut those. So now we've got the length, what we need. Uh, this this uh, coil was basically perfectly for this, um, here for this piece around. So what I'm doing before, when I apply trims, it's, I think it makes life a little easier. I apply some of the wood glue onto my piece also before I apply it onto my trim. Got to be a little careful as it uh, cools down. It's pretty cold here. It's winter in Germany. Uh, we had snow in Frankfurt, which is very unusual, but we had snow here. So they cool down. Um, you say they cool down in about the same time um, they need to heat up. So this is already cooling down. So be a bit careful for not breaking it. If I break it, it's not that much of a deal. You can um, you can put those back together also and uh, go from there. So I'm applying the wood uh, the glue the wood you the wood glue on the inside of that uh, trim now also. Nice and generous. I usually say less is more, but with the glue I'm pretty generous. Everything which um, which um, squeezes out on the sides you can take off as a baby vibe or red cloth or something like that so uh, that's no problem there we go so it's totally cooled down now it's um it's frozen stiff so to say so what i'm doing i'm heating it back up now or squeeze it on there I'm going to go around, making sure it's nice and soft again. And also work in pieces. Just going to go here, make sure it gets some contact. There we go. First part that's on, I'm going to do a little further now. Thank you, Dixie Bell. Those woody bands are so versatile and they go absolutely perfect with the Dixie Bell paints because you can, um, you can paint the um, wood events before you apply them also. They behave like, um, from painting wise, just like uh, normal wood. You can stain them, you can paint them. But uh, when you paint them before you apply them, you've got to use, um, you've got to use a flexible paint. So the, um, basically when you bend those uh, ornaments or whatever, they come in thousand different ornaments also, when you bend them around the corner that the paint doesn't crack. So, um, hallo Jan, liebe Grüße nach Holland. Yes, that's a booty band, Kendra. This is the trim 124, actually. 100, yes, 124. You also get those from Dixie Bell and from their retailers. So, um, 
as I said, they, um, what did I say? <laughs> what did I just say? Um, yeah, you need uh, some flexible paint, um, otherwise uh, the paint will crack. And as Dixiebel is a flexible paint, it's a chalk mineral paint, but it is flexible, so it's perfect for something like that. So you can paint those beforehand. So now I'm heating it back up. It's already nicely on there, but I'm heating it back up. Going sections again. You can apply them on any surface. You can apply them onto wood, you can apply them onto metal, you can apply them onto glass, you can apply them onto just plastic, onto just anything you can think of. You can drape them around any shape also. But what you do, whatever surface you're applying it onto, once you've got it on there, you heat them back up so that they get nice and bendy again, and then you squash them really onto the surface. And that's what you do, whatever surface you're applying them onto. Even when, you, when you've got a mirror or something like that, or a glass window or whatever, a metal, plate where you think that must be completely straight no surface is completely straight and by doing that you make sure that this wood you bend snuggles itself perfectly onto the surface and you don't need to worry you're not um you're not uh, compromising the um ornaments Nothing is happening to them. So, just hold it on there for a second. And it's going to stay in the shape you're pushing them into. So, as I said, the details, you won't hurt the details. Even when I press down on them that hard like I do, nothing is happening to them. But, um, so, and when it's, um, Cool down, as I said, it stays in that shape. And um, thank you, Kendra. Yes, you can use a, a blow dryer also, that works perfectly. You can use an embossing gun, you know, there's, um, unless, you, you know, it just needs some heat, that's all. When you use a heat gun, you've got to be a bit careful. I'm the master of disaster. I'm very good at um, charring my projects and um, charring the woody bands and burning myself and uh, so <laughs> okay that's on so if there's any um if there's any good glue out you can uh, wipe that off with a baby wipe or a wet cloth as wood glue is water-based so you can wipe that nicely off so that's nicely on there now and it's giving the piece a complete different, uh, complete different look now. Mm. Always, Connie, always wood glue. You always use wood glue, whatever surface you're applying it onto. You know, as those um, wood bands are porous, that's the reason also why they take on so nice the, the, the Dixie Girl paint. You know, you can also stain them with the no paint gel stains. You can use the the Voodoo gel stains by Dixieville. Everything works perfect. So, next step for this piece. Now we come to painting the top. The top will be painted in caviar. So I'm going to bring it a little up. You can see a little more of that um, piece. There you go. The top will be painted in caviar. And um, we're going to do a wash with, um, we're going to do a wash, hang on, Instagram, there you go. We're going to do a wash with uh, Hallo Axel. <laughs> so 
there he is. He he is the husband of uh, that very special lady with that dresser. Axel is there. So this makes me a little nervous also. But anyhow, let's carry on. The top will be painted in caviar in black. And I'm going to do a color wash on there with uh, Plum Crazy and a color wash with um, um, the Moonshine Metallics Gold Digger. Uh, a whitewash disaster. Ooh, <laughs> a whitewash disaster. What happened? <laughs> Master of disaster, yes, I am. So, um, if you, da, 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 da. yeah, okay. So let's carry on. And the details we will enhance also afterwards with uh, the mousse by Dixieville. We are waiting for the for the gilding waxes and stuff like that over here. So at the moment everything is a little a little slow. So if there's a little, you know, it's a bit sticking over the top here what you can do you just uh, when they're cold you can uh, also send them so i'm just grabbing my um sanding sponge from dixiebel and just gonna go over those edges to make sure that they are nice and smooth down So an SD um, wood glue is also water-based. You can also paint over it. So the top is, as you can see, it is pretty used. So um, I thought it has like cracks and stuff like that and bumps on there. But I'm going to leave it like that because I think this is just like the character that peace has and um it shows all those years you know it, it's around so i thought i'm going to leave it that way you know it's going to show his nicks and crevices and it's just um adding to his beauty so i've already done the other sides okay so for painting now around i've got for painting the top the um, Dixie Bell Mini brush, which is my favorite brush. Uh, that's a Dixie Bell Mini. It is, I promise. <laughs> it is. I've uh, used it quite a lot. So this is Caviar. Caviar is uh, a true black by Dixie Bell. So that's what I am using. I shall mix it up first. Chalk mineral paints uh, by Dixieville. They are VOC free. So, um, they are VOC free. They are uh, environmental friendly. They've got no smell to them whatsoever. So, they are great paints. I absolutely love them. So for mixing up, I'm using an um, icing spatula. I'll find out this makes my life a lot easier as you can clean it quickly. So, and I always like to work with a slight damp brush. I've already got a little bit of paint on there because I've just wiped that off the, um, wiped it off the, um, Exactly, Dixie Bell. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. French linen and look perfect. And then trip. And then... Oh no. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> we should paint together, you know, it's like the masses of disasters together. So, and I'm also sure this was nice to clean beforehand you know um the good thing about the dixie bell paints you don't need to do to prep your pieces apart from um, cleaning them very nicely so this piece has been cleaned and i'm just um smoothing it down i'm just going to put some of the caviar which is on the brush at the moment down so and then i'm dipping it you know just into the jar and i'm using just a little always just like a little paint and um, i can always reload my brush as this is um i'm going to need 
a little more paint, I think. And if you feel your paint is like uh, dragging, you know, just um, dampen your project. Also, this um, lets your brush glide easier over the surface. So this is the first coat. You can already see how nicely that covers. So, but still we will need two coats, obviously, as this is, um, and this is, uh, this is pretty dry wood, so it's soaking up the paint. You can feel that. I'm going to go, usually you go with the wood grain. That's what you would do. This is, um, the surface is pretty used, so I'm going a little back and forth to make sure it gets in all those cracks and um, crannies. Um, first coat and then we'll do a wash anyway. I hope I have enough paint. As, um, as like uh, our distributor is in England. And England has Brexit, and since then nothing, nothing works anymore. So it's a bit of a disaster. We are waiting for everything. So now you can really see how used that surface is, but uh, we will be fine. I'm first going to do the top and the trim itself. I'm going to use a, a different brush. So the paint is going to dry really quick also, as this has been soaked up by this wood like nothing. Still, this is the first coat. You can see how, you know, usually you need to, with black or with white, you need to, a lot more coats to cover everything. There is something in there. Up on your trousers. Um. <laughs> Turn to splatter. So it looks like it's um, all the like uh, disaster painters on here. So that suits me perfectly. <laughs> Oh, I've got to be careful on not throwing that um, jar down. So, but I don't want to keep the, the top in the true black. So this is the reason we're going to do a color wash, which is making it a little softer at the end. And um, this is the intention of it. So I'm covering myself in caviar at the moment also. There is some sort of hair which does not belong there. Don't know if it's um, so. there's any questions. Mm. Hi Linda. Yes I'm using a mini brush that's right. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. So it lays nice in, in your hand and um, it holds a lot of paint. So this is uh, perfect. And I'm also, I'm using the uh, spray bottle, uh, the Mr. Bottle by Dixie Bell also. You know, it makes a very fine um, mist and um, you're not having drops, you know. I don't want to have drops on my, on my project. I don't want to have any runs. Even this is a... Uh, pretty rough and pretty textured the top. I don't want to have any runs. So the Mr. Bottle is making a very fine mist and it is it is your best friend painting. It is my best friend painting anyway. So it will be yours also, I can guarantee you. 
this is also great not only you know for something like this when i want to spread the paint out a little easier we have um a surface like this there down for now which is pretty rough and uh, soaks up a lot of paint it's easier um, if you damp it a little bit it's a lot of cracks and crannies i want to make sure i cover all that so that's the reason i'm going back and forth so obviously usually you go only with the wood grain which is uh, pretty difficult with this piece The second coat will be will be easier. So, first coat, guys. What do you think about the coverage? I think this is absolutely brilliant. Katzenhaare Vera. <laughs> Probably, yes. <laughs> um, on Amazon, okay. I don't know, you must have paid a proper fortune there. So, um, why are you not getting them from your retailer? It must be much cheaper there. So, now I'm going to come to that trim. For the trim, I'm using the um, French tip brush. The French tip brush by Dixie Bell. It's got like uh, a pointed, a little bit of a pointed uh, tip, so this makes it easier to go to go around the trim and again here also where is my bit of paint there we go. um also start with a little paint not too much you know and uh, go from there also here a little bit of water always helps to get a little easier into all those details. The base is going to be in black with those trims and then they're going to be pimped with the mousse in the, the, the new um, gemstone mousses by Dixieville in uh, the gemstone mousse uh, in uh, gold. Golden gem, so now, now I've got it. And go around and swirl just to make sure that you get in all those details. And the French tip brush is perfect for those. And also, when you have very detailed ornaments, excuse me, I'm just going to move around. Use my other hand now. So, this is the last bit of my caviar. Around in a swirly motion, giving all those details. As I said, you can paint them beforehand, you can paint them afterwards. You can use um, any paints from Dixieville, you can use the stains. It all works perfect. So, and the trim is going to look now like. It always belonged there. Um, Thirty dollars a piece. I'm not quite sure what they cost in the US. Um, I guess they're a little more expensive over here due to the tax situations and um, the transportation over here. So, but I would always suggest to support your local retail, retailer. So also, you know, guys, if you want to shop those products, you know, go to the Dixie Bell page and check for your, for your local retailer, you know. Um, everybody of us is having a tough time at the moment. We are in lockdown, hard lockdown. Well, to the middle of February now. That's what they've decided. So only 
pharmacies, post offices, and um, food stores are allowed open. Everything else stays closed. So, just gonna do the side quickly on the other side. Hang on. You can see how quickly you can do that. You know, this is uh, done in no time. And this trim looks like it always belonged there. This is the nice thing about those Gucci band trims. They are in one piece, and as they are about uh, over two meters, they are perfect for, you know, especially. So let's see. Top is almost dry. I'm just going to use the heat gun again. And also with those uh, ornaments and stuff like that, when you paint them, the Dixie Bell paints, they um, uh, die Farbe, ja, die Farbe ist flexibel, Ute. Das ist das Gute. Du, du solltest halt eine eine flexible Farbe verwenden ähm, und die Dixiebel Farben sind flexibel. Das heißt, wenn du das äh, nachher biegst und so weiter, äh, reißt die Farbe nicht. Ute just asked um, in German, she just asked uh, when you uh, paint them beforehand and you heat them up again, you know, that you will soften the, the paint, which you obviously do, but as the Dixieville paints are flexible. Um, it's not going to do any harm. Thank you, Jan. That's sweet. Uh, what you meant? Kendra, um, I'm not having an affiliate link with Dixieville. So as I'm over here in Europe, you just you just go over to the Dixie Bell page and you know check for your local retailer. Maybe there's one you can support in your area, which will be you know perfect. But that's sweet. Thank you for asking. Maybe after ask Dixie Bell, maybe there's a a way to do that. So um, so I'm just going to dry the top quickly. Those paints dry quick anyway. You can see. You know, already up here, this is already uh, dry to the touch. Still, I'm going to help it a little. So we can carry on. What's the time? Half an hour already. I'm not quite sure if I can do the rest of it. We'll see. We will see. So one of the great benefits of the Dixie Bell paints is that they hang on, otherwise I have to scream for you to understand me. One of the great benefits of those uh, the Dixie Bell paints is that they are self-leveling, which means um, during um, their drying time, they are leveling themselves out. So um, all brush strokes and stuff like that, they disappear. Obviously, um, when I'm using when I'm using um, a heat gun to dry those, that'll, <laughs> yes, when I'm using a heat gun to dry those, you know, I am interrupting this process. So um, this is what you should keep in mind. Always give them enough time to, to dry on their own. They dry very quickly anyway. No, Frida, as I just said, you know, they are self-leveling, so they are not usually not showing any brush marks unless you 
you want to, you know, if you want to have any brush marks, um, you can use uh, a dry brush, you can use, um, you can use uh, a chip brush to get brush strokes. So um, that's what you obviously can do. If you don't want to have brush strokes, you don't need to have brush strokes. So now I'm going to come in with a second coat. Same thing. I'm going to dampen it a little bit just to make um, that the paint moves a little easier. Let's go over it a second time, which is more than enough. I think even that one coat would be fine, um, but still. Those paints are highly pigmented and um, and I'm using the, the Mr. Bucket basically to so that the the brush glides easier over the, the surface. And as the coverage is that fantastic as you can see. There's absolutely no problem. Again, I'm going a little cross because I want to make sure I get in all those areas as the top is pretty rough. But we are getting it all. And this is the rest of my caviar. This is just going to be about fine for this project, I think. <laughs> and then I need some paint. And that's the reason also I'm using the Moonshine Metallics as I can't take any out of the shop at the moment. Um, Um, it's, I've got it on a middle temperature. It goes from uh, one to 10 and I usually got it uh, between a five and a six. So, um, but even so, you know, let the paint dry on its own, you know, they dry really, really quick anyway. And, um, the drying time do have their purpose. So, and as the coverage is that great, so let's move up here. Quickly painted in two coats. Time is flying, guys. This is just unreal. This is just unreal. Don't think I will manage to do the. Maybe. Do it up there. Put it on the floor. I think we'll do the. Um, do the the color wash next week as I want to do it properly so even this dries really quick I think I'd rather get to your questions and see if there's any questions I can answer and we do that next week, which also means that the paint has enough time to dry. That's probably even better. So, but you can see two coats um, is, you know, this black, whoever painted black knows that black is, um, 
is usually a color you need to um what ha ha um what do you mean what ha ha Your mister is your best friend. That's right. Yeah. So, um, also the trim is going to need a second coat. Um, I'm going to do that afterwards. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to bring you a little closer so you can just see how nicely the coverage is at the moment and that this looks absolutely amazing. Two coats, two coats on some bare wood with black. Oops. Oh, there we go. Out of breath. Guys, I'm out of breath. 40 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do the color wash. I thought I'm going to get a little further tonight, but um, obviously um, time always goes quicker than I uh, like it to go. But uh, anyhow, as I said, next week um, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to put one coat uh, of uh, the top coat satin on there. Because when I do the color wash, I wanna, I'd like to control it, you know. Um, and if the paint is already sealed, the uh, chalk mineral paints they are open pores, so they intend to um, grab onto everything what touches them. So um, uh, also, you know, when you put a color wash on there, if you use colored waxes, uh, whatever, um, the paint intends to grab it. Uh, and it's um, it's water based, you know. You might get it off, but it is easier when you seal it uh, either with the the waxes first or with um, with one of the top coats, uh, and then you can control it a little easier. So um, thank you, Dixie Bell. Oh yeah, guys, send me some hearts. That'll be sweet. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. So um, and all those booty bands, all those on here, you can you can get those from Dixie Bell also. You know you and this one has been cut apart also, so you know they are so versatile. They go perfectly with the the Dixie Bell paints. Oh, absolutely, Lenda. You don't need, you know, as you've seen, you know, you don't need much paint. And I always um, use a little bit of water to get like very thin coats. And, you know, even the second coat you can see on here, you know, you can see up there it's still wet. And you can see down here um, where it's already dried. You know, this is, uh, this was on before, you know, it's, it's already dry to the touch. So um, this, uh, this works perfectly. So, okay, um, let's see, did I miss any, <laughs> yes, you did, Michelle, Chiara is in the background, she is a little better now, she hurt, now we know she hurt her hip and not her back, you know, that she didn't, she didn't let us touch her, so, um, Okay, guys, so if I missed any questions, I will check for them. I shall go back and check for them. Uh, if you watch replay, guys, put hashtag replay into the comments. Uh, and also, if you have questions there, um, maybe tag me. Uh, I get the information then directly that you had a question. Um, and I see I can answer that for you then. Guys, thank you so much for being with me tonight. My name is Angela. I'm the owner of Creative Energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm a primary retailer for Dixie Bell over here in Frankfurt in Germany. If you haven't done it yet, guys, pop over to my page, leave me a like there um, so you don't miss anything. I also do lives in German. Um, so um, if there is anything special you would like to see, you can uh, contact me also and let me know. So always be interested if there's anything you would like to know. Guys, thank you so much. You have a great evening. Take care and I see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye bye. And you, Linda, thank you for being with me. You're welcome, Jill.